IB, November 2015. We're doing section A, and of the section A, I'm starting with question 1. So question 1, it just says solve for x. This is not hard, do you agree? Now, because it's not equated to naught, we're going to have to multiply out. <clears throat> so multiplying out, you're all familiar with that, certainly. So we're going to get minus 3x, and then plus x, and minus 3 equals 5. And so therefore we get x squared minus 2x, and then minus 8. And here you could use your calculator. It's not really necessary. This is quite an easy one to factorize. You've got to think of two numbers. Multiply to give 8, and then subtract to give you 2. And I say it's 4 and 2, and so I'm going to get negative 4 and positive 2, because if you do your FOIL, you get negative 4x plus 2x, you get negative 2, so therefore x is equal to 4, or x is equal to negative 2, and the sort of question I would ask myself, do I need to check? No. So those are my solutions. There are two solutions, and there's my three marks. <clears throat> Right, an exponential equation. And notice, when I look at them, I always count the number of terms. So there's one term, one term, so two, so one on either side, which is lovely, because then all I've got to do is to get the bases to be the same and use my exponential laws. So for the 9, I'm going to write that as 3 squared. And yay, the right-hand side's done for me. The bases are already the same. So now I can use a law. Because it's division and bases are the same, I subtract my exponents, so I get 3 to the x minus 1. <clears throat> now I'm going to use a law. I'm going to times the 2 to the 2x minus 2, so I get 3 to the 4x minus 2. And then to equate these two, I need to get the exponents to be the same. So. 4x minus 2 must be equal to x minus 1. So we get 3x is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to a third. And you could, if you finish your paper early, go and check if that's right, because you go and take a calculator. Right? Take your calculator. Let's go and check. Sorry. Right. So checking. So I'm substituting in a third. So what I'm going to do is going to go 1 divided by 3. You would have used your fraction, <clears throat> and I'm going to push equals, and now it's in answer, all right, so now in fact I'm going to go and st uh, store it, so I'm going to go shift, store, A, okay, you're going to say it was too long, ma'am, no, it's short for me, because you type faster than me, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 9, and I'm going to go to the power of, and I'm going to go 2, and then times alpha A minus 1, and push equals. And I get 0, 0,4807. So now I'm just going to remember those digits. All right. So 0, 0,4780. You could scribble them down. Now let's go and see if we get it on the other one. So, okay. So now I'm going to go fraction button. And I'm going to go 3. And then to the power of. And now I'm going to go 1 over 3. Okay. Right. And then divided by 3 equals, and I got the same. So we could, were able to check it. So if you finish your paper early, this is the sort of thing you should do, is go and check using your calculator. All right. <clears throat>